Pro. Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, I'm going to do a updated tutorial of quantizing audio within Cubase 7.5. Uh, I've previously done a tutorial on this same subject in Cubase 5. Not a great deal has changed, but I just thought I'd take you through it in this environment uh, just so you can see what's what. Also, we can extract a quantize template um, for our quantize settings here that we can apply to MIDI at a later date or any other audio that we see fit at a later date. So what I've got here is just a kick drum and a audio loop. I'll just play you those. So there you go, there's the loop, sounding a little bit awkward, a little bit rushed. Um, so first of all, we'll double click on our audio loop, click on hit points. We shall reduce the threshold until we get a hit point marker on each of the little waveforms. So there we go, I think that should about do it. Although there's one at the end there that could do with one on. So edit hit points, press alt, just zoom in, make sure we've got it. Not quite. Let's move it across. It's about there. And there we go. So what we can do now is we can create a groove. And this, like I said, puts a quantized groove template for us to use at a later date. So we'll do that. We'll click groove. That's done. Also, now what we need to do is create warp markers. So press that button. Audio warps now activated. If we go back into our file, as you can see now, you can see the audio warp little signatures there and also there. So audio warp is on, and we can pick a let's go quite extreme so you can hear it first. Click quantize, and there you saw everything shift. Let's try putting everything on a perfect quantize on 16th notes. So there, as you can hear, the audio is moving around um, dependent on our quantize settings that we select in. Um, let's go to, let's try a bit of an extreme again, a bit of swing. A bit less swing. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Uh, the beauty of that, like I said, is you can make um, audio fit your track a lot better, or you can quantize little sections of it, the bits that work really well, cut them out and use that. Also, if you're using a loop initially, if you if you find a loop that's got a real nice groove to it, a nice house loop, uh, put it in here. Again, bring the hit points down and save that as a quantized preset. You can then use that in all your projects in the future. Really, really handy tool to have within Cubase. And yeah, as you can see from my list, I've got a lot of the MPC quantized maps. Um, some with a bit of swing on, MPC 60, uh, DX swing, and a couple of loops that I've just done. That was the first one that we created uh, from the original file, Audio 3 loop, which is matches. Uh, got a vengeance loop there, let's try that one. And there you go, that's it. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, get in touch and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, until the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until next time, bye bye. A, D, S, R. Pro. Pro.